Flag him. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't be so excited. I gotta bring my level down. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Look behind me. What are you seeing? In 1982, this man won a great race. That same year, me, I was born. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. You know me, I know you. 82, this is the year, the T won the Golden Wing. Who's talking? You guys don't even have a clue who's talking. I understand. You guys want to see. You want to see a legend. The Muhammad Ali of pigeons, maybe? Yeah. Would you say? I, I think I would say, but check out this Golden Wings. Hold on. Check out all the trophies, Princess Cups. You name it, this man's won it. You guys are in for a real treat this afternoon. So you know what, Heather Green, sit back, make yourself a beverage. There's the one. There's the only. There's the legendary. Emil Benny's man. <laughs> we did it. We're at the we're coming to the trains coming to the end here at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction season. And I always say you always end on the highest of notes. This is the guy I wanted to end with. This is the uh what do they say when you go to a concert, you know? You get to the concert and you you see the, the you know, before the before you go to see the main event, I saved the best for the last. Yeah, no. Emil Denny's in Belgium. Emil, 100 years. You're celebrating 100 years. What is that like? Well, we had a, but we could not celebrate it as we wished. Oh, that's, because that's, that's bad. Be, be, by COVID. By COVID. So, uh... <laughs> 100 years and you couldn't celebrate it by COVID. This is the type of guy I like. Why? Because he wants to have a party for 100 years. Who wouldn't yes. have a damn good party? Yes, I had a party last year for my 75 years. 75 years? Yes, age. You know, uh, this was 21. But we were 100 years in 2020. So we, we could not have a party then. But last year we had a party for my 75th birthday. Seven, 75th birthday. birthday. Yes, yes. And you've been in the pigeons since how old? Seven years old. Seven years old. Man, that's, uh, what is that? That's like 60, what, 68? 68 years, yes. 68 yes. years pigeon sporting. Yes. Long distance machine, one loft super champion. Guys, if you want to know one of the very best one loft flyers in the world, this is the man right here. He's won in Pattaya. You've won in... Uh, in the, I've won in China. Yes. I've won in Pattaya, I have won in Pamok, uh, two years in Thailand in the run, one time 2017 champion, and 2017 with another pigeon, Ash Pigeon, 2018 also Ash Pigeon. I have won the Princess Cup in Thailand three times, 2006, 2011, 2018. In 2021, I was runner-up, my pigeon, one number eight. And by the way, guys, we have today, this man, I don't know how he does it. He breaks the mold. You break the mold. You, I came today to select pigeons. Man, it was the nicest selection yet I've seen. We've got one loft race winners in this sale. Winning today, we got the best of the best. The golden pair, direct off the golden pair. Do you guys want to see pigeons today? This man held nothing back. This is the encore. This is the ultimate. And yes, I'm going to tell you something, eh? This is the greatest trophy I've ever seen. The greatest trophy I've ever picked up. This thing weighs, I would say what, 40 pounds? I think so, yes. Yeah. What's it made of? Gold. See, this uh, uh, outside is blade gold. Blade gold. Okay. Emil Dennis is the only man in Belgium to win two golden wings. Two silver wings. Two silver wings. I'm just letting you guys see it. It, uh, it you know, when you come into this room, these things, they draw you in. It's like, a, it's, I, I can remember seeing it on the Michael Landon video. Yes. This, th these wings. And uh, I get to hold them. I get to see them. Guys, this is real history here. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. What a trophy. What is this trophy for? How do you win this trophy? Well, it is a very democratic system. You only pay three euro and you participate with your first nominated pigeon. And it is amongst Belgium pigeon fanciers. So all, say practically, all Belgium pigeon fanciers uh, participate in this golden wing competition 
If my memory is good, there were that time, in 1982, there were 1,500 fanciers participating. If you only send one, you can win. You are on the same level, but you must have your number one nominated pigeon. And guys, the wing is 3D. You see how it curves? It's beautiful. Very hard to win. The only other one I've ever seen is that Philip and Nicholas Normans, but you have two. Uh, is this your greatest trophy, would you well, say? Uh, yes, well, <laughs> this is probably my greatest trophy. But I had one trophy beyond my thinking. Uh, I, in 2006, I went to Thailand and I had been there one or two... It was only my third participation in Thailand. The first participation, I won number four in 2004. 2005, no pigeon come home. 2006, I go there and I never believed I could win the Princess Cup. So I won the Princess Cup. So uh, and you can see this one. Y yes, and, yes, and this is the photo from the Princess. Hold on. Hold on, I'm going to show this, guys, because these are great achievements in life. So this is your this other favorite. This is the one, 2011, but the other one, uh, I think it's marked on it. Yes, marked right Ah, here. yes, you can read it. Yes, oh, it's, the sun killed it. But yeah, Princess Cup, right here. 06 Belgium, da 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 Yeah, I think you're right, 2011. 12, there's no... Ah, whatever, take a look. These are the best of the best, eh? Yes. So this was a how do you how do you win uh, this? Uh, well, the, the first, the King's Cup in Thailand is for the first Thai fancier, and this is for the first foreign fancier. <laughs> so you won it in the foreign, yeah, that's right. You you and you see, guys, the medals here, all the things, all the trophies, is nothing. It's the quality of the pigeons this man puts out. He puts out winner after winner after winner, year in and year out. People that say, ah, oh, he, he's 20 years ago, 30 years ago. No, you win today. You Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, you bring, what's the cockbird with the, 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 the pulled tail? What did he do? We, we got to show him. Yes. Right? Well, you guys want to see a pigeon, we're going to show you one. Uh, yes, well, he won number four in the final race in Sevilla, one loft racing in the winter, well, last winter. Uh, so he's born 2020, so in the winter race, he won it last spring. Yeah. Well, last spring, guys, we asked for some proven races, you're gonna have two. And not only just, not just two, one loft racing machines. North America, you guys love one loft racing, but this is the beautiful part about this. The man doesn't race young pigeons, he doesn't race them. Okay, but his pigeons win in one loft races, and I'm going to tell you something. When you guys see this loft tour, and you see how this man does it, and you see all the lofts, and people say, oh, he breeds a million pigeons. He does not breed a million pigeons. Not at all. It's a plan. He has lofts with three pigeons in them. A whole loft. Why? Because he's out to win Barcelona. He's out to win the international distance races. What a tour. You're going to see the supercock. What a pigeon. This is a pigeon. Okay. <laughs> you show him. Tell me about him. Who is he from? He, oh, he's a, he's a, he's a grandchild uh, from, the, from the, the golden, golden pair. Well, from two golden pairs. <laughs> so, uh, he is a grandchild from Mathieu and daughter Black Boy. He is also a grandchild from the Greek boy, pair up to the silver wing. The Greek boy, pair... Uh, is are the parents of Thailand number one in 2017. His full brother won number 14 in Thailand in 2020. Do you hear that, guys? History repeating itself, racing against the best, the best that the world has to offer. Here we are, and this cockbird here is second to none. I mean, you gave him to me. I fell off my chair. 
He's got muscles on his oh, arms. Oh, yeah, super muscles. He, he, and, and the buoyancy and everything. Just such a nice, nice, super quality in pigeon. And yes, guys, you want to go upstairs. And we're not going to go upstairs yet. Just you wait. When we hit 100 people or 70 people or 50 people, or one, we're damn good and ready. We're going to go upstairs and we're going to see a race team. The Dark Army. He's known for the Dark Army, the Dark Ones. But please, don't be fooled. Are the blue ones good? Very good. You know what? Well, the Silver Wing Barcelona. Silver Wing Barcelona. Tell me about them. Yes, well, the Silver Wing Barcelona... Uh, is the, he won himself the third international Barcelona 2013, 25,382 pigeons competing. He has breeding record. He is the grandfather of first international Narbona yearlings 2018. He is grandfather of the first FCI Thailand 2017. It means he is the great grandfather of this pigeon. So uh, he is the first, uh, uh, he is the grandfather of the first ash pigeon FCI Thailand. This pigeon became the grandfather of the first ash pigeon Pattaya 2019. Winning. He is the first, he is the grandfather of the first FCI Europa Masters Romania. He is the first. Uh, grandfather of the first national ash pigeon St. Vincent, two years, 2020-2021, 900 kilometer race. So, so I got a question for you. We, we do have a direct child from Silver Wing Barcelona. Yes. This would technically mean the pigeon that we're going to offer, the, 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 the son, more than likely he's going to produce some damn good pigeons. This is for sure. Because it's grandchildren. Yes. Maybe it skips a generation. I don't know. But what I can tell you is this man broke the bank wide open. He robbed from the bank, and we have it here. That's just the first pigeon we showed you. The Dark Army lives. Don't worry, guys. Silver wing, Barcelona. It's a blue. That's the right color. You want that in the silver wing. Uh, the, the quality of the pigeons is phenomenal. You don't race young pigeons, but these pigeons turn around and go to one loft races and win. It, it's, a, it's a selection. You send out of the best. The best of the best. Hey, when you look at a pigeon, what do you look for? Well, the first thing I look at is how he... Uh, I take the pigeon in my hand, how he reacts. If you do with the foot like that. Uh, he kicks his feet back. Yes. So you like this? If, if he... If, yes. I like this. I... I have seen in my career, I have been everywhere, most super pigeons, as pigeons, first national, first international winners, they have only one thing in common, this. They put their legs back. Yeah, yeah well. You yeah, see. I see. He kicks his legs yeah, back. Yeah, he yeah. kicks his legs yes. back. Yes. So they only have one thing in, they all have different eyes, mm. but they only have one thing in common, that. And you've noticed that. Yes. And you've handled a lot of them, haven't you? Yes, yes. Long time. Long time. What a super pigeon. What, mm -hmm. a, what a super, super pigeon. The character and everything right here. You want to show another one under the basket, my friend? Yes. Uh, Guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We're coming to the end of the auction season. Right now, we've got Paul McElhoney running. Four-generation pigeon flyer from Scotland. We've got Anime Van Hee. Emil knows Annemie. Good pigeon? Good pigeon woman, Emil? Yes, 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 yes. You recommend her pigeons? Yes, I recommend her pigeons. Will they do good for people? I think so. I, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, geez, you picked out the pretty one, eh? Yes. The dark army lives on. Yes. Who so is this guy? This is a full brother of the 777. The oh. Actually. I get it for you. Oh, all your trophies are heavy. Here, 777. Well, this is a full brother. Full brother of him. Oh, you guys are going to get an opportunity at this one in the hand. And what did 777 do? Well, he was three years in the run. My first nominated from Barcelona. And actually, he is number five. Fifth, number five national ASP pigeon. Barcelona, three years. You see it? What a pigeon. Again. Again, you see? The fight kicks the feet out. Emil likes it. You guys learning little tips here. He's the dark one. Crazy eye on him. These are super nice pigeons. Oh, look at the kick in this pigeon, eh? Unbelievable. Strong. Balance. He's got the eye. 
Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, you guys, I know you want to go upstairs and see what a race loft looks like of Barcelona machines, don't you? If you do, please put it in. What does Emil specialize in? Emil, mm -hmm. what are you specializing in at this time in your life in racing? Well, only international racing. Only? Only international racing in my own loft. And one loft racing in other loft. Because I no more have the power to raise young birds in my loft. Right. But I enjoy watching the computer every morning to see what my pigeons have done in the many different one loft races. The, and guys, he loves... He loved to fly everything. He would. Yes. But hey, what are you, 75? Yes, You yes. can't do everything, so you pick and choose. Yes, yeah. You know what? I'm going to tell you, if we could get him in a 20-year-old body, his brain, he's, you're sharp, fast. Uh, you're like the pigeons, man. Yeah. Let's see this one. Yes. Who this, is this one? This is the full brother of Sophia. So you have oh. <laughs> Full brother of Sophia. You know what? I'll show the trophy. You talk about it. So this is the full brother of Sophia, the first international Narbona yearlings. So, she is already the grandmother of number three, Derby Mediterraneo, 518 kilometers last year, and also of the, num of the second ash pigeon, Thailand, last year, oh, the grandmother. Yeah. So, this is a full brother. It means a grandson of the Silver Wing Barcelona. That's right. We want to see more. They all want to see more. They want to see more. Guys, if you want to see more, I'm going to tell you something. We were going to, we're going to show you. If you guys show us, the more questions, comments we get, the more we're going to show. So this, this is a full, a full nest mate to Sophie. Not a nest mate, a no, full brother. Full brother, sorry. Again, beautiful wings. Yeah. A very buoyant pigeon. Yeah, a small size, eh? Yeah, compact. Compact, eh? Oh, can I see him? What a pigeon. Again, when we came here to look at pigeons today, I am blown away by the quality in these pigeons. This pigeon can fly for hours. You can just feel it. And your international flying that you talk about, internationals, what are the distances? This one was 875 kilometers. On the day, eh? Uh, well, Sophia, on the day. On the day. On the day. Uh, I think... 14 hours on the wing. I clocked 8.52. 8.52. 14 hours on the wing, guys. And you handle this pigeon. And you feel that in the pigeon. It's strong but buoyant. Can go, go, go. Emil Denny celebrating 100 years, guys. 100 years. You can't get much better. And he brings the right pigeons to the dance. Oh, we got another blue. The, the, the well, blue this, this is the direct son of Silverwing Barcelona. Oh, I like that. When he was paired with the mother of Sofia, of the <laughs> first international uh, Narbona. It was so funny. Emil pulls this pigeon out of the basket. He, you didn't even have to give it to me. And I said, I could see it. Yes, please. Another level. Another level, ladies and gentlemen. Take your time. The best of the best here at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. You see them. This pigeon is going to breed. I can feel it. He's super, super wings, the buoyancy. Emil, what's your favorite part about racing? I mean, you've been doing this now. You know, you'd think the fun would wear out. Just, what's the best part of it? Oh, uh, well, a very good part is to send the pigeons in the club. I enjoy very much with my friends. Yes? Yes. Is your club big? N well, uh, Medium, medium size is not far from here, so but I we enjoy. Now, question: When you train the cockbirds, when you're going to take them for a training flight, do you take them yourself? You put them in. You, you, well, I put them in the basket already, eh? So I just bring the basket, eh? Yeah. So, so you take them, you go. Yes, yes. Hey yes. guys, who wants to go training with Emil Denny's? What do you think? You think I could come training with you one day <laughs> if I'm here? This this could be the right guy to go for a training toss with. I'm just saying. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we bring you the very best. And how could you not? How could you not stop here? How could you not leave this man to the end? You have to. You've got to leave the man that can carry it to the end. He wins in the finals. He wins ace pigeons. One loft racing machine. So this is poor gold. This oh. is from the golden pair. Oh. So you can explain. Hold on. Hold on. Here, guys. You want me to tell you how good the golden pair is? Listen, I'm going to do this for you. 
<laughs> you can leave it. It's okay. Oh, yeah, look. There's the golden parrot, ladies and gentlemen. And, Emil, we could read all the stuff off. I'm going to bring you around. Because we're live, take a moment, Emil. You see this. We're going to look at the golden pear for a second. How good is the golden pear, Emil? Well, you can see how many the record of the, uh, the main record in the one loft racing. Here's the main record. Okay. Everywhere in the world, in Thailand, in... in There's the record the, of the golden pear. In Sevilla, everywhere. And you know what, guys? You're going to have an opportunity to own a direct dog. Well, this is the granddaughter, but the great oh. granddaughter, I will tell you an example. <laughs> you see there, super final Derby Sevilla. Yes. Number six. Number six, right Yes, here. so Anik borrowed it, and the son of this number six wins number two in Greece. <laughs> and he's talking Anna Goldchamp, which you guys know, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction. She's a good flyer. A very good flyer. This is but, the man that took me to her. Yes. And, and, and you see here on the walls, guys, we're in the trophy room. Uh, what can I say? Look, look what he got from the KBDB, a Lifetime Achievement Award. Not everyone gets this. Look at this. What's this award here we're looking at, Emil? You well, this is me. from Curiam Center from Barcelona that I won in 2020 all these achievements. So for Barcelona International, first one, two, three, national, you can Look see. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the wins here. These were all nominated pigeons. He nominated. Not only do you have to win, but you got to nominate. This is why, a hundred years, you don't just... This wasn't luck, eh? You practice, you lost a lot. Yes, yes. You don't win every time out, do oh, you? Oh, no, 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 no. No, but he doesn't but win, we, but he we, learns. But we only remember the good times. <laughs> we only remember the good times. And again, you look here at some of these awards. Now, these are one-loft awards here. Yes, this is all from Thailand. All from Thailand. And, and, and you look you can the finals. You can, if you can you read, look at the ace pigeons. If, if you can read the Thai. Yeah, Emil Denny's. Look, look. Guys, read it yourselves. These are winning today. Today results. There you go. You see? We show you it all. We show you everything you want to see and more. The trophies and... So this, this is 2021. I am the first champion. One of three, Spain. In Spain. <laughs> hey, I got a question. I noticed over there, you got the big uh, vase. What's that for? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. He doesn't, he doesn't remember. When you're winning races like... Ah, yes, yes, yes. You don't, it is. Just tell one, me. That you yes, see it. well, in 2008... I won in the Bruges Barcelona Club the two-year classification. Two-year classification. 2007, 2008. This was with Express 144. Guys, you see it here. If you have questions, I'm going to scroll through for a second. Does Emil fly in the same club as I as her? No, 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 no. No, the, or, do you fly in the same club as Anime? No, no, no. Different. Very special birds, guys. I'm going to read the comments. Top of the line, yes, 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 yes. Uh, super, good, good. Uh, this is outstanding achievements. It is. It, it's a lifetime of achievements. And, and again, I, I will say, and I have to ask you, it's a lifetime of achievements. That's great. But listen to this, guys. I'm going to ask you a question, Emil. When you come to the auctions... Uh, we're talking our auction. I'm going to use ours. You say you always want to bring your very best pigeons. Your very best. Why is that? Well, first of all, then the fanciers easy have success and come back. Come back. Yes. Uh, so I have done like that all my life. So they all know. So also to most, this is now online auction. But to most auctions, is I go myself, so I will not lose my face. I am a very proud man. I want to show my best pigeons, and I want to offer them, so that they not say, oh, what are you bringing here? We were, we were sitting talking, 
and you've done an auction in one country for how many years? 47 years? Yes, uh, in Taiwan since 1974. Taiwan? Uh, sorry, 1975. 1975, you go there every year? Every year, auction. And guys, you don't go back every year if you don't have good pigeons, is that correct? Yes, of course. You have to have the results. Years. Yes, yeah. That's consistency, and this is why. You see the basket, it's full. You go through the lofts, they're full of supers. Oh. So this is the, the gold from the golden pair. <laughs> yes, this, and you said this one will be the gold. Yes, this is guarantee. This is guarantee, guys. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I get goosebumps. I wish my dad was here. My dad thinks you're the best guy of the guys. What a pigeon. What do you think? Hey, you know, Emil, I'm thinking next year, I'm, this is what I'm thinking, this coming winter, I think we're going to bring you to North America to a live event. I think the people are ready. You think, are you ready to go there? I am ready to go. <laughs> He's ready to go. We're ready to bring him. The best of the best. What do you guys, should we show him one more? Yeah. One more pigeon? And then we take him upstairs and show him the loft? Okay. Hey, guys. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, I'm telling you, we're bringing you the best. We bring you the best. Auction after auction, loft tour after loft tour, breeder after breeder. We want you guys to make informative bids and we want you guys to learn. Constantly learning. Emil was lucky when he was growing up. Emil, in your family, your, your father had pigeons? Well, mainly my grandfather. Also my father had, well, we origin, I originate from a pigeon f family uh, then. My grandfather, also some of his brothers had pigeons uh, because my grandfather and his family were 12 children. 12 children. Yeah. So big family. Oh, we got a question. So sit down, Emil. Don't worry. Let's see the question. Mike Green. Hey, Mike, what's going on? What's he, look, what, what, what's he looking forward in? What's he look forward in? Uh, what, do, what do you look for in a breeder? What do you look for in a breeder? Sorry, I screwed up the question. What do you look for in a breeder, Emil? Well, first of all, I always go uh, by the pedigree. The best pedigree. And then, the, uh, first I start with the pedigree. And then I look at the pigeon if he have. We all know how a pigeon should look like. So we go for that. You go for what you like to see. Yes. You like wide open vent bones? No, no, well, but uh, vent bones is not everything. Okay. If, they are, if they are strong, it's also okay. Okay, so, so strong no. meaning a nice, large, strong vent bone? Yeah, not too close, not too close. Uh, not too close, not too close. Oh. So this is the full sister. I'm now bringing a hen. This is the full sister of the second prize from Costa de la Luz, Spain. 505 kilometer 2021 fourth ass pigeon the first prize uh, he was beaten by another danish pigeon by wim kerkhoven and who is he my loft manager so we got, what else we got to say she's beautiful you can tell oh man the dark army and you guys are going to see a lot of his pigeons very dark checkers black checkers and for people who don't know the dark army your son named gave you this name yes uh how come your pigeons and and wait till they go upstairs guys to see how come they're so dark but well, this is because of the main the basic one of the basic breeders Ooh. the remy steckle from 1954 was a dark checker and he was we, we bought him in 1965 right and he was very dominant after his grandson the t uh was also a dark checker and this one was also very dominant in the breeding loft. So this is how the color came and it, it never came out. It, it, you never, uh, well, it never washed out. No, well, but sometimes we have a blue. A funny example was the T won the golden wing in 1982. His son, the Playboy, won the uh, Golden Wing in 1986, but he was a blue. Why was he a blue? Because the old Remy, the father, also was a blue. There you have it. Now you're seeing where the blue comes from. Troy Spencer asks, what races does Emil and Van He race against each other? I guess, uh, well, it's very simple. 
in one love tracing, I was first in Spain, she was second. <laughs> Did you rip her on that one? <laughs> uh, you see the qualities, guys. Uh, you know, I see a lot of, the pigeon sport is, is mainly made up of older people now. Yes, right? yes, yeah. And a lot of the older people, they don't like the one love racing. They, 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 they turn their nose up at it. They are worried to lose their face. I didn't say it. He said it. Guys, take a look. Take a look at this man. He's 75 years old. He looks like he's 46. He's got the, he's got the, the fire in him of a 22-year-old. You're a machine. Yes. Sir. Why are you playing in one-off races? Well, because it's very exciting. First of all, I want to test my pigeons in all world, in all uh, countries. Secondly, in where I am racing, in most competitions, there are fanciers from minimum 20 countries participating. So I test my pigeons with, uh, against fanciers, so you make friends, so you get respect if you do well. The pigeons flat out win. Winning, winning, winning. I can't say much more about it. You see it here. He, he loves to go out and participate. And he, I, I always say, I, I've talked to you multiple times. I've seen you at events. You never have an excuse. You're having fun. You're winning. And if you don't win, you say, I'm going to go back and try and figure out of how to win. Of course, yes. And, and, and start to try again. You, what do you want? I mean, going forward here, what do you still want to win? What do you got? What's your big win well, you want to uh, do? Uh, but num number one from Barcelona. I have been number two twice, <laughs> number three twice, number four, number five, number six. I only miss one. So maybe when he gets one, he's going to retire. I don't know. Now, <laughs> now, have you thought of the name of the winner? If you no, win it. No, I don't. No? Not, not important. You don't dream? No, I don't dream. I don't dream. Guys, uh, sitting here is great. The pigeons, the quality is great. Are we going to have a matched pair from this man? Absolutely. He's going to hand pick a pair. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Now, Emil... I think what I'm going to do is ask you if you will take us upstairs yes. and show us the race cocks. Yes. And guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, this is what we do. We have fun. We want to bring you the best of the best. Please, guys, enemy van he is running right now. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. All bids are in Canadian dollars. Emil gave her the golden pass. She's got the right pigeons. Am I following you? No, 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 no. I take my coat. He takes the coat. Because my pigeons are used to see me. All the, see, there's a pigeon tip, ladies and gentlemen. There is the pigeon tip. And you see, he's got the baskets. We have it all. Hey, Emil, can I show them outside the loft? Excuse me? I'm, I'm going to show them. Uh, oh, yes, yes. you know. we, we go outside here for a second, guys. Okay. I'm going to show you this. Got some birds out. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, you are here at Emil Denny's. We're gonna ask him the questions in a second. Does Emil and then he fly? Uh, Barcelona na, 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 against the other national races, but you see the lofts here, okay? <clears throat> you say lofts, lots of lofts. These are Barcelona lofts, guys. These are Barcelona lofts, okay? So <laughs> Groups of young birds go in here and live here for four or five years. Some of these lofts have three pigeons, six pigeons, eight pigeons, 20 pigeons at different, they're different ages, different years. You're at a meal, Denny's. We're going to go upstairs here and you're going to see it. I love the little waiting room. I love the look, the dark army lives on outside. Can you see it? Can you see it? You see them playing in the sky in the wind. Many super top international races have flown here. You ready to go upstairs, Chad? Yes, yes, yes. I follow you. Yes. Again, guys, you're with Emile Denny's. What part of Belgium is this? This is the west part. 
the west part. Near to the seaside. Yeah, you're near the yeah, Yes, but near to Bruges. Uh, we are about 20 kilometers from Bruges, 20 kilometers from the sea. What a setup. From the North Sea. Uh, well, Pigeon Heaven, we're going to go up the stairs. I'm going to ask Emil this question. Does Emil and Van He fly Barcelona, Barcelona against each other? Yeah. Well, international, we fly all against each other. In international, in international, how many countries are competing? International for Barcelona is, well, international is competing France, Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, and Holland. That it is. Yeah. So you're upstairs, and remember, you've seen outside here, guys. This is where we are. We're on the second level. These are the cocks. Uh, pigeon heaven, what a setup. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, does Emil think Barcelona can be won from the UK? Well, they are also par participating. If they are, I don't, depending on the wind. Depending on the wind. So this is With the, the southeast wind, it is possible. UK fanciers have won from uh, other, I think, Aachen and another race have won international race with a southeast wind. And here we are. Yeah. These are the widowhood cocks. And these here are all, what, yearlings? No, mixed. Some is yearlings, some is older. Well, my oldest cock from 2015, the St. Vincent, is here. Some of the supers, and you see them, this is, oh, there he is, look at him. The yes, cock up yes. on the top box, he knows, yes, eh? Yes, he's, yes. he's the camera guy, eh? Never been, never from Barcelona, someone's saying, okay, I don't St. Know. Vincent, he was my first from, uh... I'll leave for the doctor's visit, okay, leave for your doctor's visit. As we look, and these sections here, it's just, you, you use the wood, the wood chips. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and you just lie a regular, easy widowhood system, and guys, you're going to see that. Uh, yes, but it is for long distance, it's better to keep it all simple and, and quiet, you know, uh, that the pigeons are quiet. They're quiet, they're calm, and as you see from section to section, as you look here with the meal, <clears throat> you're going to see lots of dark ones. Lots of dark ones. Wow. And you let these all rear? Around. Yes, one round. One round. And these cocks, they go out, what, twice a day? No, out, now they go out once a day only. Once a day. But later from on May 20, they go out twice a day. Twice a day. And yes, guys, he feeds in the boxes. They're on uh, these cocks now. There's no, there's, I don't think there's any young with them, is no, there? No, no, not yet, not yet. Not okay. yet, not yet. They are sitting. Love the real dark ones. Yeah, he's, he, and I'm saying he's got dark ones after dark ones after dark ones. This uh, is a team for Barcelona also. This is the team, yeah. Look, look at, look the at. The new team, I would say. The new team. Now, up here, you'll eventually, when this loft's done, you put young pigeons up here. Yes, yes, yes. So, how does that work? moving them around. Uh, well, say they come from the uh, young bird loft at the end of the season when they have finished their training, 300 kilometers or 350, right. and then we move them up here. So these birds really up here, yes, they're for Barcelona, but they specialize in all the other international races. Yes, yes, yes. The Barcelona lofts, they yes. only concentrate? It's on Barcelona, only one race, Barcelona. This is why he has this many lofts Ladies and gentlemen, he has a group of pigeons only built for Barcelona. You know you're going to win it, eh? I hope. <laughs> but my time gets shorter. You're, no, your time's getting longer. Maybe you don't want to win it yet. But you see, uh, very simple. They're on a depure. You see, he feeds in the boxes. Clean water, a lot of clean water. Yes, yeah, yeah. And he's a big... You like the yellow drops. Yes. Uh... It cleans the, the nose and the mouth, eh? And you the use throat. it the day of basketing? Yes, the day before basketing. Oh, the day of basketing, I take them and put in the by the nose. I give it by the nose. By the nose. Some give it by the throat, but I give it by the nose. You, you got a little tip there on if you're using yellow drops. Another thing, we were going to come up here 
and he wears the loft coat. He says, before we were going to go up, oh, I have to get my coat. Is it important? Well, it's better that the pigeons are familiar to you. So that's first of all why I feed them in the box, that they get familiar to you. And the same coat is better. Don't make them shy. Don't make them shy. Do you play around with the cocks a lot? No, 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 no. No, you don't believe in it. I believe in it, but I, I have too many. I have no time. I have too many things to do. Too many things to do. If you didn't, if you didn't, if you weren't so busy, you may. You, yeah, I may. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, but also, I wouldn't do with long distance pigeons. It's better that a long distance pigeon is a bit shy. Yeah. Uh, because if he has to stay out at night by racing, mm -hmm. so. If he hears something, it, that he is away, that he doesn't let him catch. Yes. If some other one says, ah. Oh, you play with him, he's tamed to the person. Yes. Okay. So there's, there's a method to, to, your, uh, to your thinking there. Yes. Uh, now, uh, people always ask, or I ask, hens or cocks, what do you prefer for the, this, the distance racing? Well, I prefer cocks. Uh, but hens, I mainly race to find the good breeding hens. To find the good breeding hens. Yes. But I have successful, well, the last first international Narbonne was a hen. Also the third national Barcelona was a hen. So, but I have the first international St. Vincent also a hen. But I prefer cocks. <laughs> you prefer cocks? Yes. Yeah, I can ha well, the T was a cock, you know. Uh, yes. The Playboy was a cock. Seven, seven, seven is a cock, you know. So it does. I mean, you, the good ones are the good ones, but you just have a preference for cocks. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, these these pigeons here, do you, you the youngsters? Do you send the youngsters to the one loft racing out of these guys yes. out of pigeons like this? And you see the dark army. Look at it. Very come on, come on. Sorry about that, guys. I get the people sometimes. They give me a call. Stephen Williams is here. We got any more questions? Let's see. Uh, living legend. Yes, you are a living legend. I don't know. I'm, this... I, I'm happy I'm still living. Yeah. <laughs> and, and guys, he's not just living. He's going out to win. And this is Emil Denny's. You're in the loft. You're upstairs. It's it's not the nicest day out. But boy, I just take one more look here. Yeah, you look do. Look at these I, cocks. I'm... You see it? Quality is super. How do you get your birds to eat before Barcelona? Let's ask Emil the question. And you see up here, you see how the birds come in? It's raining today, so we get some good Belgian weather. And he's got the sink. Emil. Coming, coming. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, you got more up here. Yeah, but it's there are very few here. A, a question, Emil. Yes. How how do you feed for Barcelona? Excuse me. How do you feed the pigeons for Barcelona? Well, uh, uh, most of the time, the Gabi mixer. The Gabi mix. Uh, yes. So this is depurative with some maize corn. Just corn. Yes, corn with depurative mix. Okay. This is the Gabi mixer. N no calorie. No calorie. No fat. No fat. Only carbs. Yes, carbs. Yes. So then, the last five meals, we give them the sports. The last five meals, you give them the fat, the yes. heavy stuff. Yes. More, more, more. Yes. And when you go to Barcelona, the birds are basketed on a what day of the week do you basket? On the Sunday. On the Sunday. And the race is on Friday. So the birds, the birds, uh, the birds are in the basket four days. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think it affects the pigeons at all? There is only sixteen cocks uh, and eighteen hens in the basket. So, and most of them are very experienced pigeons. So they look very. Also, the convoyers look very well after them. So I don't worry about that. And uh, Mike Green had a question. Do you darken the young pigeons? No. No, no, no. I'm not a young bird racer. 
He's not a young bird racer, so basically what he's saying is he breeds them, he gets them into the lofts, he gets them out loft I, I let them develop, but I let them mature naturally because for me their later life is more important than uh, young bird racing. And you'll, you'll train them by car only, what, a half a dozen times? Yes, um, five times about. Five times. Four or five times. And then you'll race the young pigeons out to what, 300 kilometers? 300, 350. Yes, and then that's it. That's it. And you're getting them set up for yearlings, two-year-olds, yes. three-year-olds, yes. etc. Yes, yes. So guys, it's a, it's a plan. Uh, he puts all the energy into the international races and Barcelona. Uh, it, and it's a big job. It is. And with the one-loft racing, because how many one-loft races you send to? About 15. <laughs> So it's a lot of work. Yeah, it is a lot of work. You know what? You need more of yous. Yes, yes. We yes. need a few more of yous. Yes. <laughs> but uh, guys, if you got the questions, put them in. You, you got a legend here. He's doing this for you guys. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We're with Emil Denny's. Hey, come on. We'll go down. It's good. We go down the stairs now. Uh, yes. I follow you. Go in better light. Sorry about that, Leah. It is a little dark again. You see the sky is falling. <clears throat> We're going to go back into the, uh, the trophy room. <clears throat> I would go outside, but it is pouring rain. And we're not getting wet today. <clears throat> As we come through here, we go back into the trophy room. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are here with Emil Denny's. We're going to have some dinner here shortly. But yes, guys, you see when you come in again and again, the golden pair, super pigeons. Pigeons winning today, winning, winning, winning. That's the man who does it. Man, you've put a lot of work into these wins. <laughs> you ever get sick of winning? No, 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 no. No, eh? No, 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 no. Wow. I still love it. You lo well, you know, you do, it, you do it very well. And I'll tell you, Emil is not a, he's not a bragger. You're not... From the time I met you, you didn't say, do you know who I am? No, no. no. You're just a regular guy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, guys, uh, yes, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We're gonna, this is the last auction of the season. We saved the best for last. And there's a question. Of course there's going to be one. You guys keep asking, as long as you ask. How do you select young birds? Hold on. How do you select young birds at the end of the season? What do they... What what to keep and what not to keep? That's the first question. So when you're looking at young birds, what do you, with your young birds, when you're flying them around here, do they all stay? Yes. You don't... Uh, the basket in the co coming years will decide. That's his, that's his partner that you guys didn't know about, the basket. The basket won't lie to you, will it? Yes, yes. It, it tells you exactly what it, you have. Well, so... Uh, you see it, guys. The, the basket doesn't lie. Uh, I asked Emil, if he has pigeons out or a, 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 he flies the widowhood cocks and there's a cock that's constantly landing and giving the group problems, what do you do? Take him out. Because a widow te wid widowhood team is a team. So if they don't follow the team, he's di he disturbs the discipline in the team. So um, this... You must take out. Take out, guys. It, it's, it's okay to eliminate pigeons, remove pigeons if they don't work on the system. Again, when you uh, talking back in your, uh, you had the T and you yes. built, you had other pigeons at that time as well. Yes. But you said you, you wanted to only concentrate on the T line. Yes. But also it was very easy. All the pigeons from the T line at that time were one class better than the other ones. Than, than everything that you had. Yeah, than everything that... So I concentrated on these lines. Uh, because competition... Pigeon breeding and racing exists about 200 years. But it improved always by crossing the best to the best. And at, at, there was at a certain point that, that your T line, you felt they started to go down. Yes, because then... I Because... I, first, I bred from the T-line, it went, the performance went up, but, and I cancelled the other ones. But then, 
I started breathing up too much inbreathing. So then it went down again. But then I introduced other pigeons from Van Ruana, from Couteau, and then it went up again. So guys, remember, eh? it's okay to bring in birds, focus on a family, but don't be afraid to bring new pigeons. Yeah, no, 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 you must update all the time. Constantly. As I say, the pigeon breeding exists 200 years. It improved by crossing, not by inbreeding. No, eh? You, gotta, you guys got to keep adding. And these are the pigeons. People are winning with them. They're great pigeons. They handle great. They have great results. And they've got that salt and pepper to go the distance. And you see it in his results. You see it in the trophy room. Uh, does he bring in new pigeons or strictly stay with? I always bring in the best of the best. The best of the best. And uh, a pigeon you brought in is in here, right? On this catalog, is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. Right, and uh, Primus right here. So guys, this 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 checker cock right here. He brought this in now. It is half my bloodline, half another bloodline. So I can use as a cross. Uh, if I put with my pigeons, then I have seventy-five, which is ideal. But it's a new bird you brought in. It's a new bird I brought in. And again, how good was this pigeon that you brought in? The well, primus. He, he is, he, the, pri him. the primus was the best pigeon for five years from Barcelona. He's the first national ass pigeon, five years Barcelona, first national ass pigeon, four years Barcelona. He was raised by my former loft manager, Eric de Vlaming. So the mother is my strain, the old T strain. The uh, father is another strain, mainly by uh, old strain from Adonis Denis. Okay, we've got a couple questions, but you see it. He brings in, and it wasn't just a regular pigeon. He brought in a heavy hitter. Only, pigeon. only, only the best of the best. Only the best of the best. Emil, uh, I think this is Chris asking. I can't see the name. It, uh, is he an I sign guy, or did I miss that? Part. Are you an eye sign guy? No, I'm not an eye sign man. I'm a basket guy. <laughs> so you don't look at all the rings, the no. loops, the shading, nothing? I don't have that. He doesn't look at it. He doesn't need that. He, he lets the basket tell him. Uh, question from Leah. How has racing changed over the years? Well, it is like in all other sports. The level is always going higher and higher. First of all, by techniques. Uh, secondly, because uh, you cross... And you try to improve the strain always. Another question. What advice do you have for new flyers? For or, just, or just flyers in general? Yes, what advice do you have? Well, uh, you first, you must, you, visit, you try to visit good lofts, good fanciers, and you steal with your eyes and your ears. Then, for start, from you, maybe you introduce pigeons from two good lofts. Uh, and cr try to cross them, or you follow the advice of the master. And if you guys will go back in this minute here and you rewind that, you listen. He says it very simply. You steal with your eyes and your ears. You shh. You be quiet. And you steal with it, guys. Steal with it. He's allowing you to steal with it. Ask the questions. Use your eyes and your ears. And don't change what he says, please. Uh, next question up. You, this is good. They're starting to get the questions. You guys are getting this bouncing ball. Does he think his birds would cross well with the Smith Matisse? With very well. Because the Smith Matisse is a very easy strain to cross with. Okay. Hens or Cox? Emil, you've already said Cox are yes. your favorite. Uh, what supplements he I puts on the food? I don't put any supplements on the food. Now, why? Is it necessary? I don't know. I also don't know. So you don't do it? I don't do it. Do you like all the different bags of feed? Well, I, I give, I have trust. I am not a specialist in pigeon food, but I give the decorative. When it's sport season, I give the sport. 
When it's breeding season, I give the breeding. When it's molting season, I give the molting mixture. Okay, question, what's your favorite grain? Your favorite seed, your favorite grain in a bag of food? What do you think is the most important, the one that you need? Uh, uh, corn, maize. Corn. Re you know, reindeer, corn, corn, corn. You win on corn. Uh, what supplements? No, he doesn't use those. Let's keep to see if there's more. What kind of salt does he give his birds? Do you use salts? Salt, no. No salt. Well, I give minerals, eh? Minerals. There's salt no. in the minerals. Yeah, I think so. A little bit of salts. Okay, thank you, Tracy. Mm -hmm. Oh, what else? Corn, yes, corn, corn, corn. I asked you another question. I thought it was interesting. How do you bathe your pigeons? And you said, how do you bathe them? In the rain. He bathes in the rain. But there is plenty of rain here, eh? You, you have them in here. Uh... Do you ever use peanuts? No. No, you're not a peanut guy. I'm not a peanut guy. I don't, but pigeon. I don't, I cannot teach my pigeons to eat peanut. You can't teach them. Hey, you're, you're, this is how he flies, guys. You're, you're, looking, you're listening to a, a legend. So if you're not feeding peanuts, it's not a big deal. If you do feed peanuts, great. Yes. Many people, many fences are successful by feeding peanuts. But I don't know how to make them eat. <laughs> oh. As I told you, I'm not a very strong technical man. My strength is in the bloodline and the system. Okay, would he be willing to adopt me? Yes, you, he, he will adopt you. He will adopt anybody. But remember, if you're going to come here, you've got to only use your eyes and your ears. You've got to be quiet around the master. Ah, Emil, this is, this is super fun. Uh, I'm so happy. I, I, I waited till the end. Uh, this family of pigeons wins, wins, wins. And the base of the family, I know it's Emil Denny's. What, what, would, what would be the base? What would you call it? Well, the base is very simple. Say, Catrice pigeon, uh, then Van Brouwane. Mm -hmm. So then Stickelboot, the Remy Stickelboot has been a, a good influence. Van Brouwane again. Then uh, Couteau, mm -hmm. Georges Couteau. This has been a very good introduction. Um, and lately is this silver wing Barcelona. This is uh, this is also mainly this is by the surf, but this is also mainly old Catrice. And there's the silver wing Barcelona super pigeon. You hear the families, and you guys say this is the best interview yet. Uh, this is one of the best pigeon men I've met. This is. I, I think my father is a great pigeon man, okay? I, I do. This is the closest. This is the, like their brothers. When they were here the last time, they were finishing literally each other's sentences. The feed mixture, the simpleness. He's very simple, but he gets, it, gets the job done. A distance flying machine. Uh, he wins races. He wins the distance. He comes and wins the one-loft races. And you always see him at the shows. He's collecting trophies. This man has the biggest smile on his face when he's there. When I seen him at Fugari, and I'll get to that comment, he shook my hand, and he, he made the time instantly, and he said, boy, isn't this great to be back? Yeah, we were yeah. back in it, eh? We were, we were down there with corona or whatever the hell you call that disease. Not good. And you travel with your pigeons. Uh, you, you go all over the world. I mean, yeah. you said uh, China. How many times have you been to China? Oh, to China maybe 30 times. 30 times. Yes, yes. And for people who don't know, and I'm going to get to this question in a minute, what's it, what's pigeon flying like over there? Because you've seen it. Well, pigeon flying in China is 90% one loft racing. Right. So it's all one lofting. All one lofting. And pigeon racing in Taiwan, what's that like? It's like derby. All, no one loft. Each one his own loft. And what do you think of the pigeon flyers, uh, the... the, the, the are they good in Taiwan? Uh, Taiwan, number one. Number one. Yes. Good, good pigeon men. Yes, real pigeon men. There is a lot of money involved, so they have, they have to be good pigeon men. Or they lose, they lose the money, you know. Uh, they are poor. They are poor. They fly for the money. They fly for real. Yes, yes, yes. A and we talk about how tough is the racing there? Very difficult. Because they fly from the sea. And they liberate 
at 6 o'clock in the morning, whatever the weather is. Whatever the weather is, they release at 6 o'clock in the morning. And where are they releasing? They're not releasing out, on, uh, out on, in the grass. No, in the, on the sea. In the sea. From a boat. And not only do they liberate at 6 o'clock, no matter how the weather is, but they have a time Yes, line. say 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the pigeon have to be in. The ones that make a mistake are, are out. Are out. No, no mistakes allowed. Question for you. How good do your pigeons do there? Uh, they do very well uh, already a long time. Also, I know my, pig uh, my pigeons uh, or the type of pigeons they need to fly well, you know. Uh, they need the work. They like the work. They like the work. I know the type they need, which is, is suitable for Taiwan. Small type. Right. And we got a question here. Uh, this kind of people have two lives forever because they give me my energy to continue in the sport. Hey, that's very nice. Yeah. You know what? If, if Emil can do that for you, that's what he wants. He loves to hear people winning. I tell you, at the booth at the shows, when you go and see him, he always has a big smile. He'll shake your hand. He'll show you the pigeons. And you can ask him questions. You got a great little Facebook page. You're posting always now on Facebook. I see you all the time. Yes, but this one is helping me. Yeah. yeah. You, listen, we all got to have help. My sister helps me. Yeah. The audience helps me, and you help me. Uh, let's see what else we got here for questions. 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 Uh, best interview yet. Okay, we we've seen all those. Now, what should we say? You guys have any more questions? You don't get shy on me now. You're with the legend Emil Dennis. There is Bart Verdan. Bart, we have to come visit you. Yes, we are going to be hosting an auction for Bart Verdan. You know the, the Verdans? Yes, a very nice man. Uh, good pigeon man? Yes, a good pigeon man. What can I say? He knows the pigeon man. Hey, let me ask you, when you were growing up, you know, I don't know, even when you were 30 or 40, who did you look up to? Who did you want to be like oh. in the pigeon sport? Well, number one was Catrice Brothers. Yeah? Catrice. They were lived only three kilometers from my home at that time. Okay. They were superb. But I tell you, these were my first masters to teach me. Well, I also had to steal it with my eyes and ears. <laughs> but the, the breeding system. So their system was 70% on blood, 25% cross. Cross, cross. But always cross. All the, their great champions are bred from crosses. You know, so then, second was André van Bruane. He had very good methods of breeding and racing. What were some of the things you learned for breeding? What's some good tips? Well, this is for breeding. What I say, 75% on and 25% so, uh, cross. So 75% of your own family and 25% yeah. cross. Yeah. So you keep your family, so you keep the type of your family. Okay. But you have this new blood. This bastard blood in it, you know, uh, uh, that's the main thing. Question, we have a question. How many racers uh, do you keep? Uh, about 70. 70. 70, guys, 70. Cox, hens, he flies widowhood. Uh, the hens, you fly to the nest? Yes, yes. Uh. Okay, very simple. It's not a, this isn't a crazy system. We got another question. What top results... Have others achieved with the Denny's bloodlines? How, well, many, how, many, how many people well, call you? Uh, well, I don't know what I ha all have to say. It will be for all night. Okay, know. well, wait. It's not dark yet. Uh, uh, so give, give me a couple good ones. Well, I, I just showed you. Oh, the, the you, pu you pull it up. You're going to see. Uh, you show me the one with what? The 200,000? Uh, uh, no more. Pioneer Club? More, more. Pioneer more, Club more. in China? You had what, the $250,000 euro? Euro, euro, euro. euro winner? Um, His pigeons. I mean, I we could keep dropping names, but... Well, just the pigeon just that the Primus, the mother is my bloodline. Yeah, the, yeah, look at this, guys. The pigeon he bought back, the Primus he bought back, winning from his bloodlines. We got more questions. Oh, they're starting to come now. How far is your first training toss, Dave Thank, Booth? Ten kilometers. 10 kilometers with young pigeons. Uh, he normally trains them, let's say, six to eight times. 10, 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers, and then he goes out to 50 kilometers mm. four or five times. 
Okay, uh, I'm going to show you guys this. Uh, let's see if I can get that bigger. So, this photo right here. Okay, there it is. Again, the dark army lives on, eh? What about it? Or do you want me to read this? Yes, you read them. Read okay, them. this is what it says. And guys, I'm a horrible reader. And I'll, uh, Jeff, if you're watching, I'm going to try. Watch this. <coughs> so this was sent to Emil. Thank you. Thank you. For me, Dennis. I use him, uh, 2003 son, and recommended the introduction of the Ingles. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, champion, more than... 8,500 birds, 49 bird nesting, final day, winning me a prize of 2 million. RMB is 250,000 euro. Hey, this was today, winning, winning bloodlines. Emil Denny's, I mean, again, we could talk about it all day. Let's see some of the questions that came in. What top results, how many racers, we've seen those ones. Hey there, Emil, how, how many grams of corn each day uh, so what he's asking is do you measure the feed no one spoon soup spoon soup spoon a day a day that's it one time one time soup spoon a day of the good feed there you go uh, how far is your first training we already said let's see more questions oh when when did he introduce P, uh, Primus. Primus back into his bloodlines, and what year is Primus? Well, yeah, Primus is 2015, and I introduced it in December 2021. 2021, he brought it in. Primus is from 2015, and again, uh, for people who don't know about Primus, uh, the pigeon flew, uh, what, five seasons? Five seasons, yes. Five times Barcelona. Uh, what did he finish overall? He was first. First ace pigeon, pigeon. Barcelona, five years. First ace pigeon, four years. First ace pigeon, four years. So that means uh, it's the best of the best. Uh, and that's international. Uh, David Tracy, what age does he wean his young birds? 20 days. 20 days. Is, is that too young? It's 20 days. There's the, there's the answer on the question. <laughs> I like because, the answer. Because then we must go to the restaurant. Hey, guys, I'd love to stay and chat with you. But listen, we got to go have some dinner. We hope you like this. We're ending on a high note. Emil Denny's a legend, a legend, a legend. What? <laughs> guys, we're going to have to do another live. You guys want another live? We will. We'll do one. We're going to wrap this up. This is Emil Denny's. I'm Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I'm going to let you guys just see this one more time. My favorite trophy. Inch by inch, brick by brick, mile by mile. He's the one and only. Thank you guys for your uh, your questions. Thanks for flying with us. Time to go eat, eh? Yes. Bye for now.